As we age, things start to change. We seek medical attention more often. Wrinkles appear. Cataracts form. But why? What causes this? Let's backtrack. Somatic cells replicate through mitosis, a process necessary for growth and wound healing. For these cells to replicate, their DNA must also replicate. There is a cap on each end of a strand of DNA called a telomere that protects the DNA from potential damage during replication. Think of telomeres like the aglets on a shoelace. Their purpose is to protect the lace, or the DNA, from fraying. Every time a cell replicates its DNA, the telomeres on the new strand of DNA get slightly shorter. But since telomeres don't contain any genes, losing them doesn't directly affect us. However, cells can only replicate so many times before their actual DNA is at risk. The maximum number of divisions a cell can undergo without damaging their DNA is called their Hayflick limit, which is usually around 40 to 60 divisions, but it varies from person to person. That's one of the reasons why women, on average, live longer than men. They're born with longer telomeres. But some cells don't follow the Hayflick limit, aka cancer cells. When these cells lose some of their telomeres, an enzyme called telomerase adds them back, enabling them to keep on dividing and thus form tumors. Once a cell reaches its Hayflick limit, it gives up its ability to divide in order to ensure that the DNA that codes for traits remains intact. This defense mechanism is called cellular senescence. Senescent cells are not your average cells. Rather, they take on a senescence-associated secretory phenotype, a cellular state that encourages inhibition of normal cell functions and inflammation, which causes many age-related diseases. The cell also tries to get nearby cells to become senescent, kind of like a zombie seeking people to infect. As you age, more of your cells have divided, so more of your telomeres have shortened and more cells have entered senescence. Now, you might be wondering, doesn't the body do something about these zombie cells? Well, the answer is yes. Senescent cells normally self-destruct, like all cells do when they aren't functioning properly and are removed by immune cells, like macrophages. But as the immune system weakens with age, more and more senescent cells escape this process and begin to accumulate throughout the body. Bottom line, these cells are inherently good and exist to prevent the formation of tumors, but their accumulation is ultimately detrimental to the body, causing degeneration and physical aging. Maybe by targeting senescent cells as they accumulate, we can reverse the deterioration that comes with aging in humans so people can grow old without feeling old.